that this counts as one, okay? Not two, but one word. So 15, one, two, back row, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, that's the whole back row, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and Brennan, you're 15. Oh, 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 It can. So if we know it can be an adjective and it can be an object pronoun, what do we have to do here? We have to figure out which it's being in this sentence. So what is the job of a pronoun? What is the job when it's an adjective? Well, an adjective is usually before a noun. Before a noun? So is this, which kind of adjective is this? Remember we? Yes, it's a possessive. Possessive what? Uh, determiner. Determiner. And what do determiners do? Uh, it, announces, it announces that a noun is coming. Absolutely. So is this word right here announcing that a noun's coming? Yes. Or is it replacing a noun? Uh, that a pronoun would replace a noun? Uh, it's um, announcing a noun. So in this sentence, we know that it is an adjective that is a determiner. And you were correct, a possessive determiner, because the students belong to her, right? So in this sentence, this is an adjective. Nicely spotted. And I like when we know that it could be two things, so we have to draw our attention to the particular sentence and the context that we're using. Cal? Um, for all, I meant to write preposition. Okay. How, what kind of evidence do you have that it's a preposition rather than a pronoun? Um, on page 35. All right, excellent. We found it on a list of prepositions. What do we know about prepositions? What do we do with prepositions in a sentence? Josie? Um, like, you can make the preposition phrase. Right. And, and it, like, it like, makes the sentence kind of like a direction, kind of. Okay. Is this a phrase? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so a typical prepositional phrase would start with a preposition and end with a noun. And this one does. So we've got some good evidence that that makes sense in this thing, in this context. All right, excellent. Ava? I have a question now that you just said. So when it says on the list, like the list of prepositions, is it on is a phrase and day is a noun? Would everything in between be a phrase? Part of this prepositional phrase? Yes, it would. So all of that's a phrase? Yes. Excellent, excellent, yes. Which makes me wonder about one of the words in that prepositional phrase. Anybody else wondering about one of the words in this prepositional phrase that begins with the preposition, ends with the noun? What are you thinking, Cal Callie? I think last is a verb. Okay, so, yeah, not really an action. You're gonna last something. No, I think it's an adjective. Okay. So what is it modifying if it's an adjective? It's not uh, day of school. The last day, which day? Of school. Last day. I think last that makes sense, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Excellent, excellent. Other questions, honey? So for because, I think it's a conjunction. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I see it on the subordinating conjunction page. Subordinating conjunction. All right, what kind of information is that giving us? If we see, if we spot a subordinating conjunction, what else are we learning about this sentence? It's um, complex. Going to probably be a complex sentence. Do we have other things that we join with a subordinating conjunction besides <coughs> clauses? Um, Coordinating, look at the bottom on that. We're on page 38. The bottom of coordinating, the information at the bottom says it will make compound sentences, but it also can make compound other things, right? Compound nouns, verbs, uh, prepositional phrases. But subordinating conjunctions really only do one thing. They make complex sentences. So that tells us we're looking at two clauses. 
Finley. Um, I have like uh, some comments. Um, you could use like other conjunctions than because, like, like since, since uh, she loves her students. And so you think that works just as well? Yeah. Okay. Cool. And also, um, you can also put the because she loves her students on the end of that because uh, the comma kind of tells you that. So you're already thinking that these two clauses could be reversed in order. Yeah. Nice. Um, since it's a complex sentence, isn't there also going to be a two sub uh, subjects and two predicates? Yes, there are. There's going to be one set in each clause. Yeah. And if we're joining two clauses, we're going to have two sets. Yes, Alyssa. I have two things. Um, I don't think she is a noun. I think it's a pronoun. Okay, evidence to support that? Found the subject pronoun list. Okay, and she is also a function word. It's a, it's a short little word, right? What kind of uh, pronoun is it? Um, a subject pronoun. Subject pronoun, okay. Put that in there. Subject pronoun. Nora? I don't think will is a verb. You don't think will is a verb? Okay, what do you think about it? Um, well, when you think about it, I don't think it's not an action, really. No, it isn't an action. Kind of more of a feeling, I guess, which isn't too much. Okay. What information does it give us? Future. 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 What kinds of words do we use when we want to talk about yeah. something that's going to happen in the future? Uh, when. Callie? Future tense. Future tense. What parts of speech, what kinds of words give us future tense? What kind of words give us tense to begin with? Present, past, future. What part of speech can do that in a sentence? Verbs. Verbs. Excellent. So, if it's giving us that future, what, can anybody find, oh, you're at that page. What is that? 20, 23. Go to page 23. And there it is. So, verbs give us tense and time. And here we want the future time. We want to know something's going to happen. So we flip open the future time, and there is the word will, isn't it? It's often used to show something's going to happen. But then what's going to happen? Okay. She will. Will by itself. I agree with you. Will by, your, by itself doesn't feel like a verb because it's not working by itself here. We're giving future tense to what? To what action? Being sad. Oh, Will. Mm, you're right there. Yes. What's the verb it's helping? What's the verb it's, it's giving that future tense to? What one do you think, Kelly? <coughs> Will be. Yep, be is a verb. Be is a verb of, of existing. Will be. Now, are we going to include sad? We keep going, we'll be sad, because that's true. That's the whole idea, right? But sad is marked as an adjective. Is it an adjective? Mm -hmm. What is it? What noun is it describing? Uh, Mrs. Oh. Steven. Mrs. Steven. Right. So this is an adjective. So these are my verbs. This is the one that's telling that this is going to happen in the future. Right? I'm going to be in the future. I will be. What will I be? I will be sad. sad. Right? Okay. Cool. Other things. Henry. I don't know why, but for some reason I feel like on is not a preposition. Because then the prepositional phrase would be on the last day. And normally with prepositional phrases, you, you can have a sentence without them. So, so it would be, Miss Stephen will be sad of school. Well, I don't know that I would lose this one and keep this one. I would probably lose them both. Could we lose them both and yeah. be okay? Yeah. 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 Okay. No. no but it yeah. Yep, we could. On. It just doesn't really give us a meaning why. This one is kind of built on this one, isn't it? This one doesn't make sense without this one. Right? Okay. Alyssa? My other thing is kind of a little off topic, but it's because a compound word, because be and cause is. Yeah. Of words by themselves. So yes. 
I love it. You, you can't even look anywhere without thinking about the structure of a word. Yay! <laughs> yes, yes, you're absolutely right. Okay. I don't know why I did that. I'm blanking. Uh, I'll start with Josie because I'm, I'm kind of blank right now. Okay. Um, what's going to be the predicate? It's always, 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 always the... Burr. 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 All right, Burr. thank you guys. Yep. Do uh, you agree Burr. with the choices that are made? Yeah. yeah. Look at this. Subject pronoun is going to be the subject of this clause. And she, what is she doing? Loves. So that's the predicate. That's the action. And who's doing it? The subject. We can go back and forth to make sure that makes sense. And here is the subject. Mrs. Steven, it's a noun. That makes sense. Will be is our verb. That's the predicate. With our first clause. Uh, what kind of verb do we have? Action or linking? Action. 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 So what are we going to look for? Uh, oh, um, a direct object. A direct object. Which means that we're great. So what question are we going to ask to see if we have a direct object? Do you remember the question we need to ask? Um, do you remember, Ava? Um, she loves Excellent. Is there a clear answer to that? Yes. yes. What's the clear answer to that? Students. Yes. Yeah. Students. So, do we have a direct object? Yes. Yes, we do. We have a direct object right there. Now, let's see if there's... Oh, now we're going to look for an indirect object. If there is one, we're going to find it between oh. the predicate and the direct object. Nope. We have one, Josie. We have her between there, no, but, it's not but it's wrong part of speech yeah. to be a direct object. We need to be a noun or a pronoun, okay? So that one is yeah. not. And this one's kind of tied up with this, isn't it? Yeah. It is determining this noun. It's already busy. Mm -hmm. So let's go over here. Um, Mrs. Stephen will be, ooh, will be. We've got future tense of, of a linking verb. Be is a linking more than it is an action, right? So we're not going to be looking for a direct object. We're going to be looking for a subject complement. It's either going to be a noun, a pronoun, or an adjective there that gives us noun. more information about Mrs. Stephen. So we can ask the same question we did looking for a direct object. Maggie? Sad. Absolutely. Sad is our subject complement. It's an adjective, and it tells what Mrs. Stephen will be, right? It answers that what question again. So subject complement, only subject complement because of the kind of verb we have. Finley. Uh, and also all of the rest of the words are taken up by uh, prepositional phrases. Excellent, excellent. 